Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction thriller film, Pandemic. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie opens up in an isolated community in the rural mountains of the Philippines. The community is suffering from avian influenza, prompting WHO doctors to rush to isolate the community in order to prevent the further spread of the virus in the city. The doctors and the military catch all of the chickens in the area and separate all the sick people in the community. One of the doctors, Aiko, receives a report that a man from the community takes a chicken out of the area. She then tells the team to stop the man since the virus might reach the city. The scene then moves to a hospital in Tokyo three months later where Aiko's doctor friend, Tsuyoshi, is working. He checks up on a man who's suffering from the flu. In the news, the authorities report that a Japanese person has been struck by avian influenza. This causes the authorities to kill the birds in the area to prevent the spread of the virus, including the chickens in the poultry farm. The poultry owner in the province informs the authorities that they keep dying. Back in the Tokyo hospital, the condition of the man earlier is getting worse. This baffles Tsuyoshi, since the man is found to be negative for the influenza virus. The man eventually suffers severe bleeding and organ failure, which are symptoms of influenza. The doctors then think that avian influenza has arrived in the city, so they start to practice safety measures to avoid being infected. The sick man's condition worsens, and Tuyoshi tries his best to save the man. But in the end, the man dies from the illness. The medical officials conduct a meeting about the virus, and they forecast that the further spread of the virus can kill a lot of people. They then suggest locking down areas with outbreaks. The vaccine for the virus will also take six months to be developed. The poultry owner meets the investigator, who is investigating the origin of the virus. He and his daughter receive a lot of hate from the people, since the people think that his poultry causes the outbreak. In the hospital, more patients are flooding the emergency area. Aiko, as a WHO official, arrives at the hospital to discuss the actions to contain the virus. Apparently, she is experienced in handling virus outbreaks and assigned to be in charge of handling the virus outbreak in the hospital. She says they need to seal a hospital and they should accept virus patients only. She also introduces the virus experts to work in investigating the kind of virus that struck the hospital. She asks who handles the first infection, and it turns out to be Tuyoshi. They go to interview the wife of the man who died from the flu symptoms earlier, but the wife is also sick and does not have the energy to talk. Aiko discusses with the hospital team that their first step is to identify the virus. From then on, they can figure out the possible treatment and containment of the virus. She also asked Tsuyoshi to assist her in searching for the origin of the virus. After that, Tsuyoshi responds to a dying doctor that got infected by the virus. He tries his best to save him, but in the end, the doctor still dies from a hemorrhage. Tsuyoshi feels sorry for failing to save his colleague. He thinks that he's responsible for the spread of the virus since he fails to see it in the first patient. The hospital is flooded with more patients and more people are crowding outside to get treatment. At this point, the hospital only accepts severe cases since the hospital is full of patients. Tsuyoshi suggests to Eiko that they need to give flu tablets to the patients, but she replies the supply is scarce, so they need to give it to medical personnel first. On the ninth day of the outbreak, Eiko and Tsuyoshi head to the poultry farm to investigate the origin of the virus. The professor meets them, and he suggests the virus is unlikely to come from the poultry since the owner did not get sick despite being in the poultry all the time. The poultry owner apologizes sincerely to them. After some investigation, the doctors find a suspicious person lurking in the poultry. Tsuyoshi chases the suspicious person in the woods. The person turns out to be a virologist, who's also seeking to identify the virus. The virologist asks him for a sample, since no one wants to give it to him. Eiko and Tsuyoshi head back to the hospital. Tsuyoshi says the virus might not be influenza since the current virus spreads after the symptoms, while influenza spreads before the symptoms appear. Several days later, the virus outbreak worsens. More and more people with severe symptoms are being brought to the hospital. There are people who are bleeding severely along the city streets. The number of hospital staff is becoming scarce for the growing number of patients. That night, Eiko is talking to a child she saved from a refugee camp. The child asks if Japan is doomed to the virus. She cannot answer the question as she begins to lose hope. However, Tsuyoshi motivates her and tells her to believe in the medical staff working in the hospital. The next day, she meets with the medical personnel. She asks for those who are willing to work full-time in the hospital. This means that the medical personnel need to work and be isolated until the outbreak is over. At the same time, they are at risk of being infected. 
but she motivates everyone, saying they are needed to save the lives of patients. In the end, everyone in the room volunteers to work full-time in the hospital. The virus outbreak continues to worsen, forcing other nations to ban travelers from Japan. The government authorities order to put the regions in quarantine. The military personnel form a blockade on regional borders so as to prevent the movement of people. Despite this, people are forced to enter and exit the borders. At the same time, people are panic buying, causing the supermarkets to be crowded. After that, the first patient's wife is now feeling well, and Eiko gets the chance to interview her. Meanwhile, the poultry owner's daughter arrives home. Sadly, she finds the poultry owner already dead. It turns out that the poultry owner killed himself because he felt guilty about the virus outbreak. They try to bring him to the hospital, but it's already too late. The virus lab test soon gets announced, confirming that the virus is not influenza. This means that the poultry has nothing to do with the virus outbreak. At this point, the virus is declared to be totally unknown and yet to be identified. The unknown virus is tagged as blame, which implies that it is a form of divine punishment. As the virus outbreak continues, deaths keep increasing. The cases of theft and looting are also rising. The military personnel also help to pick up the reported sick patients in their homes. The first patient's wife sneaks out of the hospital. Eiko and Tsuyoshi visit her in her home to ask for their contacts. It turns out that the woman's father is a doctor working in Southeast Asia. Her father came home on New Year's Eve and turned out to be sick, after which her father left and never came back. This means that the woman's father might have infected her husband, the first patient. Meanwhile, medical personnel and medical supplies are becoming more scarce as more people need them. The doctors are forced to use medical supplies for those who have a higher chance of survival. A young kid is already dying, but the nurse hesitates to remove the ventilator from the kid. Eiko steps in and removes it herself. She then reminds everyone that they will save everyone they can. The doctors remove the ventilators from the dying patients and use them for those who can survive instead. Because of this, more people died during that moment, causing some of the staff to begin to lose hope. The following day, Tsuyoshi meets with the independent virologist out of desperation to identify the virus. At the same time, he finds out that the virology professor quits his job. He then forces the virology professor to search for the origin of the virus. They fly to the country where the first patient's stepfather came from, who is also a doctor. They check the doctor's medical record, and it turns out that some time ago, the doctor treated a girl suffering from flu symptoms. The girl turns out to come from the isolated Minas Island. The professor and Tsuyoshi immediately ride a boat to Minas Island to investigate further. The boat driver only takes them to the side of the island. It turns out that local people are afraid to go to the island because they believe it is cursed. After arriving there, they find dying people who are suffering from the virus infection. The hospital on the island lacks personnel, and the infected people are asking for help like zombies. The single nurse on the island is also infected. They go to ask the nurse about the Japanese doctor who came there, and the nurse gives them the Japanese doctor's diary. It turns out that the Japanese doctor headed back to Minas Island to treat more people, and he eventually died there. It's shown that the first infected man on the island got the disease deep in the woods and spread it throughout the entire island, causing the island people to believe that he got it from a witch. Tsuyoshi heads back to Japan with the virus sample, and the professor stays to investigate further about the virus. The WHO personnel also arrive in the area to help the sick people. The independent virologist examines the virus sample and eventually identifies it. The medical authorities then announce that the vaccine is now being developed, but this will take months to be developed. Not long after, the professor also dies from cancer while on Minas Island. At the same time, more medical personnel in Tokyo Hospital are dying from the virus, and more are getting infected. The deaths rise to the point that the bodies are too many for cremation, causing the military personnel to create a mass grave to bury the bodies. As the virus is already identified, Eiko leaves Tokyo Hospital since her task is over. Before leaving Tokyo, Tsubiyoshi tells her that he's worried about the people who will still die. Then, he promises her that he will come to her after the outbreak is over. Along the way, Eiko turns out to be infected with the virus. Despite being sick, she continues to do her duty as a doctor. At the same time, the daughter of the poultry owner is also infected. She is taken to the hospital by her friend. The nurse, who has a young daughter, also got infected. The nurse eventually dies, and Tsuyoshi sends a text message to her daughter using her phone. Eiko's condition worsens, and she asks her colleague to try an unproven medicine for her. The colleague warns her that it will be fatal if the medicine fails to work. 
But Aiko says the medicine can save thousands of people if it works. Before the medicine is administered, she calls Tuyoshi, informing him about her decision to try an unproven medicine. She informs him that during his time working in an Ebola outbreak, they tried transfusing the blood of the infection survivors to the infected patients. The method is unproven and untested, but it saved some of the patients. Before the call ends, Iko tells him to forget his promise when the outbreak is over. Afterward, Tsuyoshi tests the method on the poultry owner's daughter. He transfused blood to her from the first patient's wife, who had survived the virus despite being infected by her husband. The girl severely coughs blood and keeps convulsing. After a few moments, her vital signs normalize and she is now feeling well. After that, Tsuyoshi immediately leaves Tokyo to visit Eiko, but when he arrives there, she is already dying due to the infection. In her final moments, she expresses how much he loves her, but their love suffers from a tragic fate as her life has already ended. He leaves the room with a heavy heart while remembering the happy moment he met her. It turns out she's his former medical professor, and she really inspired him. After six months, the vaccine is finally developed, putting the virus outbreak under control. The lives of people are back to normal. Million people have died from the outbreak, but the survivors have to move on. In the end, the survivors express their gratitude to the doctors for saving their lives. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.